Farmer's Flea Market, one of my favorite little places. And we're gonna go inside today, look around, and we're gonna meet Brenda. So let's go on in. Hopefully she's hanging out in here. Oh, I see her. She's hiding in the corner. Where are you hiding? Hey, baby? Brenda. Hi, dude. Everybody, this is my friend Brenda. Hi, and everyone. She, uh, how long have you owned Fuller's? This October will be three years. Three years, okay. So she's had this for three years. And where do you get most of your um, items from? Mostly estate sales or when people are deceased, we try to help the families or if they go into nursing homes or if they move out of state, we try to help it so the overwhelming factor isn't there. Right, right, gotcha. Mm -hmm. So, um, do you take like a little bit of everything? Pretty much, yes. Pretty much, mm -hmm. all right. So, um, Brenda is here seven days a week. <laughs> she never takes any time off. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, she's, a, she's a great person. So, I just wanted everybody to get to meet her. So, I'm gonna just give you a little tour around um, Brenda's store. So. Brenda, I'll catch you later. No problem. <laughs> so this is um, a mixture of glassware and tins. And we have things hanging up on the walls. Lots of little tchotchkes. This is like my favorite spot. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> Quiet over there in the peanut gallery, you know, I'm just teasing. <laughs> I know, I spend a lot of time over here, huh, Brenda? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, we got pictures. I was looking for some shot glasses today, Brenda, but I needed eight that were the same. Oh, okay. But, and then over here, we have vases and pictures and coffee carafts, all kinds of plasticware, pots and pans. And then this is the um, useful wall, that's what I call it. All kinds of useful little gizmos and gadgets. I always check out this wall when I come in. Yep. Got a little bit of everything in here. In here, oh look at this, you guys! This is beautiful. Look at this lamp. It's gorgeous. Oh, I need to get this for me. Oh my goodness! Feet relief. I should get it. I got plantar fasciitis in my feet. Okay. It's no fun when it what. When it acts up, it's horrid. Mm -hmm. We have tools. All kinds of goodies. Light fixtures. Oh, the stand feels lovely right now. I just got done with a hot flash. Yep. But, yep guys, this is one of my favorite places. She puts stuff outside for everybody to see. She even has visitors that come in and hang out. I don't know, what is her name? Her name's Annie, she's my Annie. Annie, oh, oh hi Annie. So if you guys are ever in the Niagara Falls, New York area, you need to stop by Fuller's Flea Market because I'll tell you, there is something for everyone in here. Hi everyone. So, she stole my chair. <laughs> you wanna say hello to everyone? Oh. This is my Sophie girl. Say hi Sophie. How you doing? You say hi to everyone? No? <laughs> okay. Hi everyone, welcome back. 
Let me just fix this for a second if I can reach it. There. That way the hallway is not in the seam. Anyways, I put a piece of shelf liner, that rubbery stuff, on this tripod. I'm hoping that it doesn't give my subscribers, my friends, a heart attack today. Uh, because it did that to me, tr <laughs> trust me, twice. But anyway, so as you saw in the beginning of my video today, we went to visit Brenda at Fuller's. And um, I do have a small haul for you. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed meeting her. She's an awesome person. I just love her. And, um, you know, if you know people that live in this area and they are thrifters, please let them know about Fuller's Flea Market. It is in the City Market in Niagara Falls, New York. On, um, it's the old Pine Avenue. So um, just throwing that out there because I do love my girl Brenda and I would love for her to have lots of business. So anyway, um, as I said, I do have a small haul for you. So uh, let's get into it. All right, um, I did pick this up. This is an adorable vase with daisies and the ladybugs. And it's a decent size. It's probably about eight inches tall. And this is how lovely my memory is these days. I thought I had another piece that would match this, which is why I bought it. However, I realized after I got home and I brought it outside to look for the other piece, I do have another piece that is the same pattern, I believe, with the, the flowers and the ladybugs, but it's pink. And it's actually a watering can, but it is pink. It has the same like uh, textured uh, pattern, but it is pink. So it'll still go, but it's, they're like things. They're not like, you know, it's not a set. <laughs> But anyways, it's cute. I like it. I'll probably just put a succulent or something in it. So that's item number one. Item number two is this adorable, oh my goodness. This is a Joseph original. Look at him. He is so cute. We have a little lady bug. To me, it looks like a guy, but then again, maybe not. He's got his cute little antennas here. I just thought he's adorable. There's his little sticker, Joseph Original. I'm trying to see if it'll focus, but nope, it's just not gonna. Let me try it this way. Nope. I don't know, guys. But anyways, he is my favorite find today. I picked up these two. Um, yeah, see, I already knew as I was going to grab them that I was having a brain fart. Insulators. Oh, thank you. It came to me. Perfect timing. Insulators. Um, I believe like the blue ones are actually worth more, but these are um, Heming, Hemming Gray insulators. And if I'm not mistaken, the Hemming Gray um, are worth more than say the ones that say Brooklyn, New York or whatever on them. So I just thought it would, they were really cool. So I grabbed both of them. And you know what? If they don't sell, they'd make great paperweights. Come see, come sa. Then I saw this really 
adorable and vintage little trinket box. Look at that picture on there. Does that say 1960s or what? And it's actually, it's actually plastic. But it has like a little kind of a lining in there. And I just thought it was so cool. And it says PK on the bottom. If anybody knows who PK is, please comment below. Okay, what else did I get? All right. I grabbed these two vintage Aladdin. These are... Blah, 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 blah. I think they're six ounce. Yes, six U.S. ounces. Uh, they are insulated thermos jars. So I grabbed both of them. They're in excellent condition. These are really nice um, to bring soup or chili or uh, stew to work. So I snapped those up. Let me put that over there. I'm trying to make some room. Now, when I show you these next two items, <laughs> sometimes I just buy things because of the sheer memories of a particular item. Um... And that is why I purchased two of these blue strainers. My mother had one of these when I was a little tyke. And these were put out by the Joya Pasta Company. There it is, right on the front. And my mother had this strainer for a zillion years. Um, I love, well, we call it pastina. Uh, it's actually on the box, it's called Enchini di Pepe. <laughs> uh, but they're little tiny, little pastas. And my mother used to make it for me all the time when I was little. And I remember her pulling this strainer out to drain the water. So, that's the only reason that I bought these. I will probably keep one and sell one because they don't, I don't believe we have the Joya Pasta Company anymore. So it could be somewhat of a little collector's item, but I bought it because of the memories. That's a lot of the reason I thrift, guys. Um, I love, and I tell everybody this in the comments, I love when you're standing there and you look at something and all of a sudden it's like, whew, the memories just come flying in. You know what I mean? And then you just stand there in the middle of the aisle like a dork thinking about, you know, what joy that particular item brought to you. Um, that's like the best thing ever. So there was that lovely memory. Um, Another memory that I have, as soon as I saw these, I'm like, oh my goodness. My mother had the same plastic box. The lid comes off. It's just a storage container. But she, this has to be from the 50s or 60s. My mom was a hairdresser. And she used to keep all of her roller clips in this box. So when I saw this, I had to have it. God knows I have enough stuff that I can store in it, which is why I also bought this one and these two. <laughs> I bought the whole dang set. Awesome. So there we go. Let's slide those over there. All right. 
I got myself some pans. My cookie sheets look like they've been through, you know, World War II. Um, and, you know, they someone took a flamethrower to them. They're, like, disgusting. Um, so I did buy, let me show you here. I did buy a smaller um, cookie sheet. And then this one, which is a little bigger, and it looks like someone forgot to clean the rest of the cookie shrapnel off of there <laughs> and over there. But that's okay. We'll scrub her up good. All right. So I got those two cookie sheets. And then you don't see these loaf pans. Look how long this is. This has got to be, that's got to be a 12 inches long um, loaf pan. And I think this is awesome to make a larger um, meatloaf. So it's longer and it's not as thick. And so it doesn't take as long to cook. So that was my reasoning behind this purchase. And you could also do um bread in it uh what else anything really so i grabbed that mm -hmm. then i found as scott would say at the old curiosity shop cream and green enamelware this is an awesome except for that those couple of spots there oh and then it looks like the two, the two uh, edges got dinged. But other than that, this is in really great condition. And this is a, a great like cake pan, 13 by nine inch cake pan. Um, you could make lasagna in here, anything. Um, it's just in awesome condition for the age, because if I'm not mistaken, these go back to the 40s. I could be wrong. If I am, please correct me so that I'm not wrong again. <laughs> so I grabbed those for myself. This is for resale. Oh my word. My mother had a similar design like this in a tray look at this is that not beautiful hers was not quite as long but it had the same the same type of handles and it was gray and I'm trying to remember what the heck the design was on it I can't I can't think of it at the moment, but I just think this is beautiful. There's no markings um, on the back. Uh, you know, the back um, has some scratches, but other than that, it's really not in bad shape. That's just some sticker, leftover sticker. But the front of this is just gorgeous. So I definitely was going to grab this because it's, it's very pretty. I love it. And the last thing I found is another Miro popcorn popper. Here's the box. This is a much older one than the one I thrifted in my last couple of videos. It has the model number. This is the deluxe model, but it's much smaller as well. I don't know, guys. This is a little scary looking. I mean, it needs to be cleaned, obviously. I'll take some... Um, a Brillo pad to it, but here is the actual front of it. I have the plug right here. 
As you can see, it's pretty darn dirty. Um, this is the heating coil. And this is the top part. Like that. And that's the inside. And that's the bottom. So I am going to give this a good scrubbing, but this is what it looks like all together. And I thought it was awesome. This is probably going to be for resale. Um, I definitely, I listed the other one because the same exact one that I bought sold for $80. $80. So I listed that bad boy mighty quick. So we'll see, you know, what happens with that. But uh, if I can't get this one cleaned up to my liking, I'll probably end up keeping this one for myself. Because I don't care really what it looks like as long as it works well and makes good popcorn. So that is is my little Fuller's haul. Let me see if I can put this back in here without dropping it. You guys see I got my brace on. There we go. Um, yep, so there we go. All right, so. Out of all of these items, I said, Brenda, what do I owe you? What's the damage? Oh, $6. I said, what? Yeah, $6. I'm like, $6? She goes, yeah. She goes, you don't have that much. I'm like, okay, Brenda. So I was hoping I had a $10 bill. I did not. I had eight bucks in my purse. I said, here. I said, I'm going to hook you up next time I come in. She goes, you don't have to do that. I said, no, I really do. <laughs> I really do. But anyway, guys, um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed meeting Brenda and seeing her little store. Um, it's a great place. I love it. One of my faves, got to say. Um, if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. And stay tuned. On July 14th, which I think is this coming Sunday, Thriftmas in July video collaboration, which is being hosted by Nicole at Nesting Haven. So if you're wondering where is all my Christmas stuff, it's put aside for this particular collaboration. So stay tuned, guys, and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye, y'all. <laughs>